Yo, what's up, bros? We are back throwing down a, another 1943 Challenge Conquest USSR. I need an easy one. After playing with Germany, that was disgusting. Let's get down our economic bros. Obviously, I will use Schnult on the German front. So we can hit all their elite units with generals on it before we attack. Yeah, Germany was absolutely disgusting to play with. This is severely unbalanced in the Allies' favor. So I kind of know a little bit from what people are saying in the comments, like Japan will get wrecked if left on their own. Um, I haven't heard much about Africa, but I did hear if you just, if you play with Cuba, you can just, you know, select Cuba, put it on auto and win. So, yeah. I was going, at first I was going to put all my generals on the T-44s, but I noticed they're like level one, they have no range, so... Probably just going to be putting our uh, extra generals on heavies. This can't possibly be anything like playing with Germany, right? I mean, we already got a Guderian. Unless there's a huge uh, second wave, this looks like... I mean, that looks way easy. I mean, shit, look at their western... Look at Germany's western front. They got Lieb and Rouge dead. Bruh. Talk about wanting to lose. Like, you're trying to lose at this point. Alright. Brauschwitz is stupid. Guderian's about down. He's stupid. We got Marnstein to the south. So we'll get uh, the Italian generals coming in. I don't know how long it's going to take them to come in. I might put my Munstein in the south, actually. Actually, I might put a couple generals in the south on elite units. We got, we got more than enough good units in the north. If we can take Helsinki out and not even have to deal with the Finnish generals, that'd be nice. So I'm going to dump... I, I, have a, I have a rough um, outline of what I want to do. I'm going to dump all of our good artillery units against the Japanese front. We're going to have a Marnstein versus Marnstein down there. Um, I'm not exactly sure where to use infantry. I'll just have to see kind of what uh, Africa looks like. We might send them down there or we might just use air power. I don't know. Brauschwitz down. Yeah, this is so... Bro, this is going to be so easy. Compared to playing with Germany? Bruh. I feel like I'm playing on easy compared to that. I mean, you wouldn't even need to have rumor on all your generals playing with an allied country. Except... We've got to play with almost all the countries to get all the achievements. So I must rumor. Man, I'm in no hurry in Japan. I don't ex Based on what I've heard, there's really no threat. So we'll take it nice and slow. I'm not going to waste any money over there, like, trying to force down some artillery generals quickly.
little missile technologies. Well, I guess we are going to have to deal with the Finnish bros. Nice. Melted. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to have the finish bros beat before we take Helsinki. Damn, look how quick we are moving. Playing as Germany like you were losing ground for the first 10 rounds. You're trading ground for just a little bit more time. Try to get down more of your good generals. Okay, so um, also we are going obviously for the complete a conquest in under 20 rounds with a three star country. I would assume Soviet Union would be the easiest. Although, okay, hold on a sec though. You do have now two landings by US troops. It's not like you have to bring all those troops from the US to get a good foothold. You got the D-Day landings going on. You got torch going on. Damn US, US and US are probably similar in the end. So as always, we, we have the achievement where we've got to play with the main ally and Axis countries. We will do that first. I don't look forward to playing with another Axis country though at all. Because now, boom, Hungary goes down. Now you know, regardless of what Axis country you play with, you got to go and bail out Germany. We'll have to watch here, but I, I don't. Well, I mean, if you're playing with an Axis country, you think Germany allows D-Day? Probably. If Germany's your enemy, they probably don't allow D-Day. I mean, shit, we're going to take Japan with just some crapper units. Yeah, they um, haven't done much in Africa yet. They are putting down a couple more generals. However, they're not using elite units. Boom! Up Finland goes down. Hold on a sec. You know what? I kind of thought... When we were Germany and we were going all across Asia, like we had a mean front. But shit, the fact that we got this front with all these generals and it's more compact. I mean, this looks a little bit more ferocious than even all the generals we had playing Germany going through Asia. This looks nasty. I'm glad to see so many of you were um, so invested in the boom, a Romania goes down, invested in the Monstein life story. Everybody was so pleased that he earned back his number one general title and got his excellence medal back. Now, if Abrams had an open perk slot where you could you know, change it to whatever you wanted. I would have put rumor on him and kept the excellence medal on him. But also remember how I was telling you about certain events where you don't really have um, the safety, let's say, to move five spots out in the middle 
of nowhere away from all your other comrades and attack. Which one was that? That was, um, Mannerheim line on hard. Yeah, you can't just just move Abrams, you know, so far out from the lines you're protecting. He'll just get absolutely demolished. We needed a Monstein. Battle of Berlin. Damn, this is a force. Poor Goring, he's getting melted. Bruh, look at this army. It's glorious. So, yeah, I guess it looks like we might have to send something to Africa, maybe just like an air general. Maybe we can just get away with throwing an air general down there. Get our air general on the Asian front further south so we can start clearing the Southeast Asian area, Southeast Asia area. I mean, they're, they're, Germany's coming up on their last generals here. They're not even worried about Modell. They're just pretty much bypassing him to attack Berlin. I don't give a shit. So, I don't know if you guys seen my shorts today, but I unlocked the Enterprise. I also upgraded the IS-3 to level 2, which nothing amazing happened. That's why I didn't make a short on it, but you did get more defense and one more movement. I'm waiting for that uh, more attack upgrade. Oh, did you just see what happened? Did you just see what happened to the Monstein? It was not good. All right, we need Taipei. So we need the airfield. That should have us being able to reach most of the territory in Southeast Asia we need to grab. Damn, Odella does have some health, though. I'll give him that. Bros are... Bros are hauling ass by and blasting him. Doing drive-bys on him and he's holding up. Doing drive-bys and King Tigers. What's the uh, King Tiger max speed? Like 12 miles an hour? Yeah, Marnstein, boom, Bulgaria goes down. Marnstein got Alpinied. Marnstein will no longer get Alpinied. I should have probably waited for Doubting to have money to send him down there. Especially with Rommel right there. That might be a mistake. I mean, we still got, um, Chenault. We can throw him down there if need be. I 
Yeah, it looks to me like... Man, the worst part of Japan failing is that it looks like it was mostly being done by the ROC. We need some range. Yeah, the ROC was beating them back. Usually you go in there, you see some British forces, some Australians, you know, they're, just, they're putting in some work. Nah, it was ROC all the way. Oh, I didn't pay attention to Helsinki and lost it. It did not look like they allowed D-Day, though. I'll give them that. Germany fought and won D-Day. I mean, you know, do drive by on the Swiss as we're passing. All right, Mornstein is back. Burnt down on a peony unit. Now Marnstein will forever hunt Alpini units. I kind of left doubting with no money again. Well, the Japanese front's heating up, you know? It's demanding a little bit of money. Thailand? Boom! A Thailand goes down! I mean, how did Thailand do? Thailand actually did okay. They didn't get taken out and they had, uh... You know, they were doing alright for themselves. Damn, this force through here is brutal. Rip. The Swiss go down. There you go, Monstein. Oof. Doubting? And that's what happens when you send him down there with absolutely no money. For three rounds. Damn, this is so much quicker than it was with Germany. It's not even close. If let, let's say Ger let's say German difficulty was. I mean, I'll have to give it an 8 because, you know, some of the hardest ones are going to be the smaller Axis countries. We'll call them 10s. But if Germany is an 8, playing with the Soviet Union would have to be like a 4. A 3, maybe even. Let me think. Yeah, it was at least double the easiness. And yeah, it, actually, the Soviet Union is probably like a two or three in hardness. Like, I didn't sweat it at all. I didn't even do my regular play so many rounds just to kind of figure out stuff. I got on, I kind of looked where I was going to put my generals, and then I was like, oh, you know, I'll put my tank generals on these T-44s, and I seen they were only, um, had the range of one, and I was just like, that's not going to happen. And that's all I did. I didn't do any round play through to see where they were going, because I knew it was just going to be so easy, I wouldn't have to do that. And I was right. Damn, Kluge got a late placement for uh, Germany. The German wolf pack survived. That probably put an end to D-Day, probably.
I guess we could use... Yeah, he's not doing much damage to those, though. With the AA. Alright, Rommel's, uh... Rommel might leave us alone now. We may not have to deal with him again. I want to take him down. He can't, look, he's almost killed me. Not cool. We got to grab Tokyo, otherwise they're going to take it. You don't have to do anything in Midway. You don't have to do anything in Hawaii. You don't have to do anything with the ports in the US. Oh, boom, Japan goes down just that easy. After this round, we can start pouring money into Africa. Yeah, I think um, I don't have any more sky trains. Um, Boom, Spain goes down. Well, actually, most of those cities. Most of those cities are almost open. I, we might. Yeah, look at this. We don't even need an air general for this. And now we can reach everywhere we need to. Yeah. Yeah. Abyssinian bros, you know? I remember a day when the Abyssinian bros were much better. They prepared to take the ports. Boom! Germany goes down. Alright, coming up on the wrap, guys. That should be it. Communist Empire. Boom! In 16. Got our achievement. There it is. Gotta play with all the Axis Allies countries. Got some medals. All right, bros. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, so back here for our next upload. Peace. Brumanati out.